Caffeine in right amounts does help us stay awake, focus better, lift our mood, but how does it make our brain do all that? Let's see for ourselves. Here's ABC's Lisa Stark. It's the most popular drug in the world. I need that little um, boost. It's everywhere, from 320 milligrams in a Starbucks Cafe Grande, about the max you should have in a day, to energy drinks, to sodas, now even inhalable, 100 milligrams in an instant. But could that daily dose of caffeine be changing your brain? We turn to researchers at Wake Forest in North Carolina, where I underwent two MRI brain scans. This first scan with no caffeine in my system. Then I downed just one drink. Now my second MRI. This was my brain before caffeine. This was after. The difference was remarkable. It's like a 40% drop in the blood flow to your brain. So that's a lot. So before caffeine, with caffeine, the blood flow to my brain dropped Went about 40%. 40%. Really? Yes. Why the drop? Caffeine blocks a chemical called adenosine, which controls blood flow to the brain. Add caffeine, blood vessels constrict, less blood circulates in the brain. And your blood pressure and heart rate go up. So if you skip your regular coffee, that surging blood can trigger a caffeine headache. It's like trying to get a fire hose to pump blood up through your skull. If you're a caffeine lover, your brain has actually changed. It now functions normally on caffeine. How much caffeine do I have to drink to change the physiology of my no, brain? Not very much. Not very much? No. Like even a One cup of cup day? One cup a day will change your brain. The good news, experts say for healthy adults, a few cups a day is not dangerous. But keep in mind, a little caffeine can do a lot. Lisa Stark, ABC News, Winston-Salem, North Carolina.